Hey guys, welcome to another video from HumbleMechanic.com. I'm Charles, and I'm going to give you a couple of tips on changing a tire today and unravel the mystery of this thing right here. This is a Volkswagen tire jack. Uh, it looks quite a bit different from this old screw jack that I think is out of like a Honda that I had years ago. Um, this thing's pretty intimidating, but it's actually super easy to use. Once you do it one time, no worries. Before I get started, a couple of things. First, make sure you have all of these things. If you don't have them, knowing how to do it does you no good. Also, throw a couple of blocks of wood in your car. Uh, it makes a really good tire chop, which will prevent the vehicle from rolling. And it'll help you if you're on an uneven surface. You can actually place the jack on top of it and don't have to worry about the jack sliding around on you if you're on grass or gravel or something like that. <coughs> Before the car goes up in the air, Take your lug wrench and go ahead and break all your wheel bolts loose, just like that. You don't want to have to, you know, if you have to kick this, this around because it's really tight, you don't want to be doing that with the car on the jack. I actually broke these loose before we started shooting this video, so they're pretty, pretty loose. Just don't take them out. Go ahead and leave them in. Just loosen them up. I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a notch right here on the bottom of my Passat. This is where the tire jack goes. There's a, a tab that's called a pinch weld right here on the bottom that'll correspond to this piece in, on the jack. Unlike most jacks, you've got to hold this one up on the bottom of the car. Traditionally, you do this with the other kind of jack, but this one will only work if you push it up on the bottom of the car. I think that's where a lot of people get hung up with this thing. Not only that, it's goofy. So what I do is I kind of unwind it a little bit just to start it, put it right underneath that notch, and go ahead and crank it down to the ground. And it'll be pretty easy up till, up till about the time you hit the ground. Once that hits the ground, before you actually start raising the car, make sure it's semi-stable, and then go ahead and crank it up. Now, the last time I got a flat tire was was years ago but I had a 96 Cabrio at the time and we were just up the road maybe a mile from the house and uh, I think I ran a nail over well we came out of the store to of course a flat tire and I realized that I didn't not only have a jack but I didn't have any of the tools to change the tire so my wife and I had to walk a mile to the nearest Walmart and buy a jack and then all the way back all while I'm wearing my Volkswagen jacket. It was uh, a lesson learned, needless to say. Make sure you guys have all this stuff. Um, like I said before, all the lug bolts are broke loose. Uh, Volkswagen gives you this cool screwdriver with a 17 millimeter end on it. You just run these bolts out with this, and they'll come right out. Go ahead and throw them in your bag that you should have in your toolkit. That way they don't get lost. And they'll come all, all out pretty easy, just like that. Change your tire. Obviously, take the old one off, put the new one on. Do the same thing. Run them in by hand. Just snug them up. That's all you need to worry about with the car up in the air. Just like that. Crank the car back down. Don't rush through this. You don't want to create an unstable jack and uh, risk knocking the car off. So I'm going to run this down the rest of the way, just like that. You'll see the car settle down. Once I can, I'm going to go ahead and pull the jack out and get it out of my way. And now is when I'm going to go ahead and tighten up my wheel bolts. There's no one right here. Tighten them up just like that. Obviously, you're not going to have a torque wrench with you, so just make sure they're really tight. And then at the first opportunity, go ahead and take your car in, get your tire fixed, and get them put on and torqued properly. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. Now you guys know how to change a tire. You know how this goofy jack works. And, uh, you know, make sure you got, got this stuff in your car. Otherwise, knowing how to do this stuff does you no good. Until next time, thanks, guys.